Hi friends, welcome to channel Tech World. To get regular update for new content, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today we are going to discuss about how we can write unit test cases in Spring Boot. There are several ways that we can instantiate the application context or we can also mock. In this session, there are two ways to do instantiating with the application context how we can write the unit test cases in Spring Boot that we are going to demo here. So the first demo that we will be discussing about full Spring application context is started using Spring Boot test annotation and auto configuration mock MBC. And then if we want to narrow down and only instantiating the web layer, then that we can do with web MBC test. So let's go ahead and do the demo. So the demo we are going to do in Spring Toolsuit. I'm going to cre create a quickly. I'm going to create a web project. and uh, Spring Boot app having only the web component and the unit test cases Spring Boot unit test case demo so I have given the name for this project as Spring Boot unit case demo and I'm going to use the web component and uh, already the test cases dependencies we automatically will be my problem so once this gets started again and show you how to create and write the test case uh, while i request you guys to add my channel and subscribe and watch all this video that is listed for spring boot series so here it's already get created i'm going to create another controller to accept a request i have named it as demo controller i'll create another controller package for this one and i'm going as i'm going to create a, a controller let me uh, rename it rest controller annotate with rest controller so one rest api that will be created then i'm going to create a simple endpoint so which will say us hello okay and i will annotate the request mapping so that with this request this when this when we are going to request the service with this uri so i'm going to get a return as hello okay so for this controller i'm going to create a rest api a test cases okay so i'll change the package to the test so here the test cases is going to be created okay so first of all i need to annotate I need to run I annotate with one with then spring runner class then I need to annotate with spring Then I need to annotate with spring
boot test then then auto configure mock mvc so with this annotation i'm going to get access to the spring mvc i'm going to auto where mock mbc to my test cases then i can use this mock mbc to perform the rest api call I'm going to invoke test okay so what I have done here so let me just throw the exception so what I have done here is i'm performing a rest api call and i'm printing the output and expecting a http status as okay and the content has to be hello right so in my rest controller i have written as hello so that exactly i'm expecting to be written and these all are the static imports that you need to uh, do i mean in in order to access all these uh, component in the test cases right so let me go ahead and run this test cases and let's see how it goes right if we can notice the log so it's going to uh, instantiate the whole application context and then after it's going to trigger the rest api that we have exposed through our application and check its corresponding status so let's wait uh, once the server is getting um, getting up the test cases is going to be executed so in terms it's first of all it's making the application context instantiate completely so we can see we got a success response so this is the way that you can write a test cases using spring boot test and auto configuration mock mbc which is going to instantiate your whole um, Spring Boot application context, right? Or Spring application context. If you want to narrow down the process, then you can go ahead and do it only with one more annotation, which will be mock where we see. then if you want to narrow down then you can do it easily if you want to narrow down the application you don't want to the whole application context to be instantiated then you can use the web mvc test annotation then it's going to be instanced only your web layer and it's going to perform that rest api call and it's check its uh, required so it's going to get instantiate the web part then it's going to invoke the rest api So we can see the exact the test cases went well and its output is matching to our assertion right so this is the way you guys can go ahead and write your uh, test cases in spring boot so uh, we have gone through two ways uh, that uh, is uh, complete uh, application context instantiating and the web layer instantiating 
so thank you so much for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all updated and incoming videos that is related to the spring cloud spring boot and lot of upcoming cloud components thank you so much for watching please subscribe